Welcome to the world of Mosley Associates, serving the broadcast industry since 1960 from the Santa Barbara Research Park in Santa Barbara, California. We'd like you to spend the next few minutes with us while we tell you about Mosley Associates and the MRC2, the microprocessor remote control system of today and tomorrow. In 1960, engineer Jack Mosley produced his first product, an oral studio to transmitter link, commonly called an STL. Next was a remote control system, the WRC-10. These two products were the beginning of what is now Mosley Associates Incorporated, a Flow General Company. Mosley is the acknowledged world leader in the design, manufacture, and supply of STLs and remote control systems. Mosley products are to be found in virtually every country that has radio and television broadcast facilities. And now, we'd like to show you our most sophisticated remote control system, the MRC-2. Let's start with a look at the basic MRC-2 system. First, the MRC-2 uses distributed intelligence. Each component of the system specializes in a particular function to optimize system efficiency. The modular design of the MRC-2 allows orderly expansion and changes without obsoleting existing units. Also, there is a commonality between chassis, which simplifies service and operation. A non-volatile EROM memory is available to hold user setups through power outages. This feature eliminates the necessity of re-entering setup information. Each control terminal can access up to 99 remote terminal sites. Each remote terminal can have up to 255 commands, 255 status, and 255 telemetry channels. Up to four control terminals can access any remote terminal site. The control terminal is located at the man control point, usually the studio. It provides the interface to operators either directly or through a CRT terminal, which we'll discuss in a moment. The control terminal can provide communications to one or more remote terminals using dedicated lines, FM subcarriers, automatic dial-up systems, or the equivalent. The remote terminal is located adjacent to the equipment being controlled. It interfaces to this controlled equipment via hard wiring. These connections fall into three categories, command outputs, status inputs, and telemetry inputs. Command outputs provide contact closures or the transistor equivalent to activate relays, motors, and virtually any other peripheral device. Each command module used provides 16 command outputs. Status inputs accept contact closures or voltages to indicate on or off or any other two states of the devices being monitored. Each status module provides 16 status inputs. Telemetry inputs accept sample positive or negative DC voltages from 0.25 to 5 volts, which are proportional to the actual parameters being monitored. These telemetry values are calibrated during system setup. Once again, there are 16 telemetry inputs for each telemetry module used. In addition, optional direct binary or binary coded decimal input modules are available. The remote terminal processes status and telemetry data for alarm conditions. It provides status and telemetry information to all controlled terminals in response to controlled terminal polling. Although the MRC2 system we've just described provides you with flexibility and convenience, you can upgrade your MRC2 remote control with the following options. The CRT option displays status and telemetry data on a single screen for simultaneous observation of all critical station parameters. In addition, the keyboard provided with the CRT allows quick access to all control functions by the operator. One or several CRTs may be used at each control terminal location. The automatic logging option provides a printer and the necessary interface to record parameters of interest on a time-based and or an event-driven basis, relieving the operator of this tedious task. In addition to taking routine meter and status readings, a logger is especially important during busy periods or emergencies. The multiple direct command panel provides express access to 16 critical or often needed control functions for each panel used. 
Pressing a single button will cause the system to implement a single function or a subroutine at one or more sites. The multiple status display panel provides a remote indication of status channels. Up to 32 status channels may be monitored simultaneously on each panel used. The automatic control unit option provides executive action and control ladder sequences to your specifications by way of computer control. Programmed by the user, the automatic control unit can provide the ultimate in truly automatic system operation. Mosley Associates offers a full range of relay panels, optical status and command isolation modules, FM subcarrier communication modules, and a variety of sensor and interface kits. Now, let's take a detailed look at MRC2 operation. At the control terminal, we first select the site. For systems with only one remote site, the step is omitted. Next, the channel is selected by pressing the appropriate channel number and the function channel. Telemetry information for the selected channel is immediately displayed along with the appropriate unit of measurement. Pressing the page button provides status information for the same channel. Commands may be latched, pulsed, or momentary. Pressing the raise or lower buttons implements the appropriate command. When an alarm condition is sensed at a remote terminal, pressing the Acknowledge button silences the alarm. The display immediately switches to the site and channel with the alarm condition. When more than one alarm occurs simultaneously, the system stacks the alarms, stores them, and displays them in sequence each time the Acknowledge button is pressed. When operating from the remote terminal, channels are selected in the same manner as at the control terminal. To implement control functions, the remote terminal must first be placed in maintenance override. This shifts control from the control terminal to the remote terminal. Raise and lower commands may then be executed. Status and telemetry readings continue to operate at the control terminal, although command functions are locked out, protecting maintenance personnel. Alarms are acknowledged using the same procedure as at the control terminal. Setup is performed by a single operator during installation at the remote terminal. System Setup programs the MRC2 and is a powerful, flexible tool. Let's go through the setup options available for each channel. We'll start with the setup for channel 1. Pressing the Setup button starts the process. Telemetry values are set first. Prompted by the menu, we are asked to define the scaling type. Possible choices include linear, power, product, and others. Pressing help displays all options. Units of measure are now selected from a wide variety of choices. Next, two sets of upper and lower limits may be programmed and alarmed if desired. Command mapping is assigned. Specific command output lines may be assigned to the telemetry channel being programmed. The ability to assign each command output to more than one channel or none to a given channel optimizes system efficiency in this area. Mute assignment temporarily disables limit checking and its attendant alarms upon a specified status channel change. This feature prevents alarms from occurring when a transmitter or other auxiliary equipment is deactivated. The programming process continues with status setup. Decisions involve first, inverted or normal. Second, latching or momentary. Third, alarms may be triggered on transition, rising edge, falling edge, or both. Fourth, command mapping is performed in the same manner as telemetry. We're sure you'll agree that the vast variety of programming choices gives the MRC2 the flexibility required to control any size or type of facility. Operation of the CRT option is straightforward. The basic display page shown on the CRT lists title, time, column headings, system status, and telemetry. Site selection is also indicated. Pages are organized to show telemetry, status, and command assignments separately. The master page may be organized by the user to include a mixture of vital telemetry and status parameters for a single site. Channel selection is indicated by a highlighted line. 
To issue commands from the keyboard, first take control. Note that raise and lower functions are described in clear text. Depressing the appropriate raise or lower key executes the command. The CRT option provides an additional benefit. Channel and function identifiers designated by the user also appear in clear text on the MRC2 front panel display. The automatic logger produces a page containing the following parts. A header of user program text, time of day, selected logger channels recorded on a time basis, and alarms. Let's take a closer look at the multiple direct command panel. One button selects site, channel, and function. A tallyback confirms that the command has been accepted. Button contacts and tallyback drive are accessible from the rear panel. Up to 13 multiple direct command units may be interconnected to provide up to 208 command channels. The multiple status display contains two status blocks of 16 channels each. Lamp outputs are accessible from the rear panel for remote monitoring. Up to 16 multiple status displays may be interconnected. For the ultimate in-system control, you can have the Mosley Automatic Control Unit, the ACU-1. Your custom program may be entered in BASIC or Mosley Clear Language, a user-friendly version of BASIC. The ACU-1 can adjust, reset, and change over equipment based on telemetry values, changes in state, time, and operator initiation. The automatic control unit can be set up to mimic an expert operator, making immediate command decisions based on events. This unit contains an onboard monochrome graphics display and may be ordered with external color monitor drives for an outboard color monitor. Block diagrams of your system can be displayed as well as perimeter summaries of multi-site systems. Let's see how the ACU-1 performs. In this demonstration, the ACU-1 monitors output power control. When yellow limits of first stage warning are reached, output power is corrected. Nuisance overloads may be reset automatically for a predetermined number of times. The system will then initiate the transfer to an auxiliary transmitter, complete with the appropriate time delays for filament warm-up and antenna switching. This switchover may also be initiated manually. The MRC2 offers multi-control terminal capability. Up to four control terminals may access a given remote terminal. The unit designated as master control terminal has control capability. The balance of control terminals have data acquisition capability. Now that we've been through the many functions and options available for the MRC2, we realize you may have some questions. The next thing we're going to cover At Mosley, we want you to get the most out of all of our products. We conduct regular classes and training seminars for our customers. You and your technical people are invited to come to Santa Barbara and spend some time with us gaining proficiency in the operation of your new Mosley equipment. The MRC2 microprocessor remote control has been proven in the field, in large and small markets alike. The flexibility of the MRC2 makes it ideal for any size complex. For a complete user's list, please contact Mosley Marketing. We'd like to thank you for spending these few moments with us today and hope you found your visit both enjoyable and informative. For questions or additional information on the MRC2 or any Mosley product, please contact Mosley or your authorized Mosley distributor.